Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and apparently Amazon has canceled their Lord of the Rings MMO RPG. Now this comes after a dispute with Tencent, which is more of what I want to talk about as opposed to the cancellation of the Lord of the Rings game. See, when it comes to cancellations, it, it makes sense when like it's a development issue, like they couldn't really get the game where they wanted it to be or something like that. Kind of like what seems to happen with Scalebound, right? But when it's simply a dispute between like the two companies making it, it kind of sucks. Now, I'm not saying that this doesn't happen in other forms of media, because it does. I mean, it probably happens in movies and basically most forms of entertainment where certain things that happen behind the scenes, maybe between like contract disputes and whatnot, cause certain projects to get canceled, right? But I think this is what makes gaming kind of different. I, I personally think games are announced way too early. Like, Think about Star Wars The Old Republic. The game was first announced on October 2008, and it wasn't released until December 2011. So that's three years after it was announced. See, I think that's the problem. When these games get canceled, like, it's different because people have been looking possibly forward to this game, or certain games at least, for a certain amount of time because they've been announced since here, and then like, Two years later, they get canceled. Like this, this game was announced 2019. It didn't get canceled till this year. So I think that's a little bit of a problem in the gaming industry in general because games get announced. I think way too early. Like look at Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4 was announced the first year the Switch came out, 2017. It's 2021. We still have yet to get a Metroid Prime 4. Now I'm not saying that game's canceled, but I'm just saying in general. I think the problem is that for many different companies, they announce games way too early, and if something happens with the game in between, whether it be development process, or whether it be something behind the scenes, or whether it be a dispute, and the game gets cancelled, or something changes, or something like that, it kind of sucks, because you may have been looking forward to this game for a while, and it's like, wait a minute, it's cancelled, or something like that? See, it's different when it's like, a movie or something that you just didn't know about, and maybe a developer talks about later, they're like, oh, you know, we were once in talks to do this movie, but, like, halfway through the project it got cancelled. See. It's different because you had no expectations, basically, because you didn't really know about it. But when it comes to games, I just think that maybe they need to start... I know that Nintendo does this with a, with a good amount of its game. Not all of them, as previously mentioned, Metroid Prime 4. But a good amount of Nintendo games are announced, or at least the first trailer is released, like, the same year they plan on bringing out the game. But some game companies, they just like to give it away too soon, I think. They like to announce, we're working on this, this game is being developed or something like that and then later on it gets cancelled or something like that so all I'm saying is that with gaming I think this is a bigger problem because I think I think a lot of publishers they announce the game way too early but what do you guys think about this the Lord of the Rings MMO RPG being cancelled apparently because of a dispute between Amazon and Tencent and what do you think about announcing games that early in general do you think it's a good thing like build up hype or do you think it's a bad thing because you announced it so early and then something can happen in between kind of like here where two years ago they announced it and the game's canceled let me know in the comments below Th thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe and may god bless you all